John 10.30 Ego kai ha pater hin esmen Translation Jesus says, I and the Father, we are one. Right? I and the Father, we are one. Or I and the Father are one. Notice that word hin. Some of you thought that was the preposition in. Don't forget that in Greek you have a masculine form of one, hase, a feminine form, mia, and a neuter form, hin. That's one, one, one. Here we have the neuter, and there's some discussion in the commentaries as to why the neuter might be chosen here rather than the masculine. Is that significant or is it not? I recently read an essay by, essay by Richard Baucom where he was arguing that this is a clear allusion to the Shema Deuteronomy 6.4, where, you know, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God, the Lord is one. Well, if you look right after this, they, it says the Jews picked up stones to stone him, so that would seem to be a, a contextual argument in that favor. I want to read to you from Murray Harris's comments on this verse. I'm reading from the Exegetical Guide to the Greek New Testament, his Egg and Tea Commentary. It's a little bit of a long quote, but I'll read it to you. He, he says, this construction, right here, what we have here, this construction expresses an identity not of person, but of power, purpose, and action in preventing the theft of any sheep from divine safekeeping, and implies an identity of nature, given the parity of status indicated by the parallelism of verses 28b and 29b. This verse is Jesus' answer to the Jewish demand, tell us plainly, verse 24, and expresses a functional oneness between Jesus and God the Father and implies their ontological identity. Father and Son are indistinguishable in purpose and nature, but distinguishable in person. As in 858, Jesus' claim here forms a climax to a discourse and prompts an attempt to stone him to death.